สวัสดีค่ะ I am Siti Sabrashumyat and welcome back to Aussie News Update by Thai News Agency. Let's begin with Indonesia. Supporters of a hardliner Islamic group in Indonesia gathered at their Jakarta headquarter on Wednesday evening to pray for Osama bin Laden, the recent deceased Al Qaeda leader, who they hailed as their hero and a true freedom fighter for Islam. Posters hailing Osama bin Laden as a hero and a lamp. Basting U.S. President Barack Obama as a terrorist are common sights at the headquarters of the Islamic Defender Front, which is known locally as the Front Pambela Islam or FPI, located in the suburb of Jakarta, Tanah Abang. Shortly after the evening call to prayer on Wednesday, men, women, and children who supported the FPI turned up in their hundreds, some on foot, some on motorbikes, to the narrow lane leading to the group's main gathering place in the Indonesian capital. They were all there to pay tribute to Al Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden and condemn his assassination conducted by American forces in Pakistan earlier in the week. While some have expressed doubt about the death of the man, widely believed to be behind 9/11 and countless other terrorist attacks around the world, many FPI followers were reflecting in anger at his passing as they pray, chant, and sing religious songs commemorating what they see as the martyrdom of Bin Laden. As the international media watched on, the crowd of around 5 to 600 FPI supporters also shouted anti-American remarks throughout the session. Founded in 1998, FPI is notorious for its violent methods and hardline approach in its strife to make Indonesia an Islamic state and is associated with mob attacks on places around the Indonesian island of Java, deemed to have threatened Islamic values. Nevertheless, their contro controversial religious activities only attract a handful of followers so far in the world's most populous Muslim nation.